today I'm doing an 80 mile round trip on the e-bike. Um, I don't know whether I'm regretting it yet. I've done eight miles so far. It's been a bit of a nightmare because of directions and stuff. I'm using Google Maps to like do directions and it's just it's not really that great for cycle um, routes and things like that. So um, yeah, basically going to my parents, going to help them to sort out some fencing. Um, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be there at about 11 o'clock and I've got another 30 odd miles to go. <laughs> I'm actually just reached this like kind of um, old, I think it's like an old railway line. So I think this is quite long. This is like maybe like 10 miles or something like that. So I'm just gonna blast this. <laughs> four miles got another few to go it's saying 19 miles so it's saying 19 miles um, remaining on the tank on the fuel tank so that's looking good I've had a bit of a mishap though on the uh, I don't know if you saw that on the um, the rear tails just basically snapped off because I caught a um, 
caught a tree or something like that when I was going through the off-road bit. So yeah, it kind of pissed me off that did really. But um, had to carry on. Anyway, crack on to the last bit. I'm not really feeling I'm riding back at this point, but maybe a beer and chill out, we'll sort it out. <laughs> So, made it. Yeah, that's all I can say. It seemed like quite a mission, um, but I think it's because I was trying to get here on time. I was trying to get here for 11 o'clock and I actually got here about half past. So, yeah, 40 miles is quite a long way on a bike like this. And I'm starting to realize that this bike, this seat, isn't as comfortable as the saddle. My hair is just a complete. Right guys, I'm on the way back now. Um, I've been trying to, t the GoPro ran out of battery basically, so I couldn't really do any more kind of like GoPro footage, I'm sorry about that. But I'm about 15 miles in to my journey back, so not doing too badly, like my bum's a little bit sore. This seat isn't really like that ideal for like really long distances. I think it would actually be okay, but the issue is, is I'm pedalling, so it's not really designed to be pedaling. If I just had my, you know, if I just basically, if I just, if I was just sitting on the seat with my legs tucked up, I'd probably be all right. But um, anyway, yeah, going well. 77%. Um, I think you've probably got like another 25 miles to go, something like that. Um, I haven't really worked out how this range kind of system works, but it seems to be doing the job. <laughs> um, it's saying I've got 51, it's saying I've got 51 miles left, so yeah, shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem. One thing I noticed, when I charged the battery up at my parents, it went to 84 volts. It's never been to 84 volts before, um, and I've never discharged it that low, so um, as low as what it was, like 10% left or something like that, so uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and I'll catch you in a little bit. Right, I've decided to avoid an A road, which is pretty big. It's called the A120. It's, it's pretty it's pretty carnage actually so I've decided to avoid that and go back onto the the flitch way yeah so basically this is like what I was filming when I came up here it's like kind of like towpath but yeah I'll be able to relax a little bit on here because um yeah my bum's hurting a little bit from from pedaling so yeah I'll be able to tuck my feet up and just yeah just rip this last bit I think 24 miles 24 miles in 49 miles left just crazy. Inset, you just make some amazing batteries. I'm not even being funny here. It's absolutely unbelievable. Back on the lanes. Guys, I am soaked, absolutely soaked. I'm, wa I'm waterproof on my top. This jacket's waterproof. Helmet's kind of so-so. It um, lets a bit of water in around here. Um, but I was about five miles away from home and it just started chucking it down. I knew it was kind of coming, but I didn't know exactly when or where, but sod's law, it's five miles away from my house. And um, yeah, my legs are um, drenched. These, my legs are drenched. Boots are all right, these boots are amazing, keeping your feet dry. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see how waterproof everything else is on here. <laughs> um, this headlight as well, good chance to test that out, see how it's going. So working pretty well. And also the rear light as well, you can see that around there. But, um, but yeah, only the last couple of miles now, so it's good, all good. It's doing better on range this time because I didn't take so many kind of wrong turns, and I was trying. I was coming back a way that I knew. Uh, let me. It's not going to focus on that, is it? I don't know. Hope this is all right. This adapter. Hope it's um, fairly waterproof. I think everything's going to be like splash proof, really, isn't it? Anyway, right. I need to get back super quick. So yeah, that has been something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time, like see if I could actually get to my parents' house, which is like 40 miles. Well, it turns out pretty much exactly 40 miles. And um, it's taken double as long as it would in the car. Maybe not quite, 
double because um, I think it takes over an hour and I've, I've done it in like two hours. So the biggest frustrating thing is having to stick to 20 miles an hour and actually pedal. So as I was saying earlier, if you are pedaling, it just really hurts your bum when you've got that, when you're um, riding with that seat on. So yeah, the way forward is to use a saddle. If you're gonna do long distances, just use a saddle. Um, if, you, if you're gonna pedal, if you're gonna treat it like a bike, like an electric bike, just use a saddle, it's so much better. Um, but if you're gonna go the route I'm gonna go, then I'd say the motorist seat is definitely the way to go because um, basically that last stretch that I was doing where I was just not pedaling because I was off road, technically off road, um, and just kind of just putting my feet up and just, just going for it, um, that was fine. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna really have that problem. But if the seat the angle's all wrong if you're trying to pedal with that seat on, then you, you really need to be quite high up like a downhill bike really but I think as a moped like getting it getting it registered as a moped and doing that journey which I'm not going to do again in a hurry um, the way it is at the moment um, but yeah as a moped I think that would just be completely different because if you can stick to 30 plus mile an hour and you can go down the middle of the road or you know to the left if if there's sort of a lot of cars going faster it's going to be so much, so much better. The the hardest bit is actually staying to the left of the road and like wanting to actually go faster and thinking, better not. Anyway, so impressive, so impressive. Um, I will say again, I can't mention enough insert the battery. <sighs> Just unbelievable that, really, really unbelievable. It's crazy how it gets to it gets to about 70 volts and it sits at 70 volts for like pretty much the whole cycle. Um, maybe, maybe drops down to like, you know, 69, 60, 67. So only when you get to the final kind of 20%, it will go a little bit lower, but it holds its voltage for so long. It's like the curve must be just like that. Anyway, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna make something to eat. I'm going to chill with Sarah. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the uh, the Sunday. It's bank holiday, Monday tomorrow, which doesn't really mean a lot to me because I kind of work from home. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll probably get out and do something do something good tomorrow. So until next time, catch you later.